How's it going, everybody? I'm back in Fallout 4, and this time I'm going to be doing the General's Quarters and also, like, Living Area in uh, Troop Manor. So, the third floor, that's basically what it's going to be. So, I'm going to be doing, like, a little, like, relax area that the General has along with a, like, a bedroom. And so, around the bedroom, you'll see, I'm going to add some decorations uh, you'll see in the tour but for the most part the actual build is pretty simple there's not really uh, a whole lot that I do I just kind of board up that hole in the wall on the third floor I decided to do that in this video and then also I'm building a like queen size bed right now I could have added two mattresses but I didn't I thought about uh, kind of putting them next to each other so it kind of looked like one big mattress, but I did not do that. It probably would look weird. So I just ended up putting one. But what I end up doing is placing down two pieces of the long plywood. And I made a huge mistake a second ago by picking that up with the Place Anywhere tool. So now it's got each one individually place so now I have to sit here and mess with these but what I did was place down two pieces of plywood and then put a wooden beam on each corner um most queen beds queen size beds have like poles on the corner and stuff uh they're a lot nicer than this would be but this is kind of just makeshift queen size bed you could probably put double mattresses on it it would probably look okay but this is what I did. Uh, and then I raised those up a little bit. Now that all four of those corners are kind of even. Because they were on those plywood pieces. And then. I wanted like a headboard type of thing. So I just went and I found. The shack balcony railing. That was added in USO. That was plywood. And then also I got the shack balcony railing. That's in the base game. That's just like a piece of plywood. And so I just went ahead and I picked up both of these with the select all glitch or tool or whatever. And I was just trying to figure out the exact width that it needs to be. And I kind of just guesstimated until I got it at a width that I thought fit well. And I picked the shack balcony railing that came with the game or it came in the base game because it isn't just a box. Uh, I thought that it would look kind of cool to have. I thought it would look better and scrappier to have the one that's kind of rounded off and like broken a little bit. And then again, CVA, uh, a mod that is pretty important in this build. I just put down a bunch of these individual pieces, and then I grab. I grab a bunch that are at 90 degrees, and then one that's flat. Could have used any other piece that was flat. There's a bunch in USO, but. This one I figured was a good enough uh, like width. And somehow it ended up being that this piece, this piece specifically is the distance from one pillar to the next pillar. So, um, or the wire fence post, whatever. So I end up placing one on all four sides from one post to the other post. And yeah, they're all facing the same direction, but I didn't think it was that noticeable. Because they all go into the post on the other side, so. And also, you can't get these in USO, unfortunately. I wish that uh, Andrew CX would add something like that. And I got rid of the piece that goes on the back. Uh, I just needed the three sides. And then, like I said, I just went ahead and I got a mattress. I thought about placing one on the left and one on the right. But I end up just placing one in the middle. Because it is just me. And then I just take this up to the third floor. Uh, because I don't really play with... I, I was just thinking, like, some people will probably think, like, Oh, like, what about, like, if you have companions and stuff? Uh, how you can, like, romance companions. I don't really use anybody other than dog meat in this game. Uh, the companions were okay in this game. 
I, I wish that they had better companions. But, uh, onto the wall. So I, I wanted to add like a doorway out of this. I don't know what I just picked up there. That happens a lot. So I just end up eventually putting it on top of it and it picks it up just fine. And then I try to place it flush with the plywood and the planks on the top floor or on the roof. And also I place a half wall on this side. But what I end up doing is place the half wall and then I go into the internal walls and I just try to see exactly how wide the door frame is and I try to find out exactly where to place down that half wall to kind of make the door frame. And I did change that afterwards when uh, when doing um, like the decorating because I wanted to have the door in a specific spot but it just wasn't working out too well. I changed it later though. Uh, after this it's not really a drastic change so it's not really noticeable but it was for me but right here I just placed this up on top and not realizing that a door frame is a lot lower than that and so I was like I should probably place the door in first because I need to know exactly where the height of the door is going to be. but So I place that in, and uh, pretty much the rest of the build, I mean, it's really simple. I just place the door in, and then I, I make a few minor adjustments, and I look around a little bit. But uh, let's talk about some other things. So I thought about doing some other videos recently. I uh, just bought South Park, um, The Fractured Butthole. And I thought about doing videos on that, but um, I'm not sure just because of YouTube. I don't want like I don't monetize my videos anyway because you have to have a thousand subscribers to make money off of YouTube, and I don't see a point in me putting ads on my videos yet. And yeah, it will build up money if I were to put ads on my videos. So if I hit a thousand subs that that money would be there but I'm not really like worried about it uh, I'll monetize my videos when I get there but what um something else is I thought about doing videos on that let me know what you guys would think of that uh just because the only reason I really haven't done it yet is because um uh, I'm worried about just it being a lot of editing because there is some really slow parts of the South Park games um the fights are really long, and uh, I'm not sure. Um, a lot of stuff probably have to be censored. But this is the tour here in a second. But uh, it's really simple. There's nothing really different except for the front of the house. I walk over there. I started on the wrong side of the house. But you can see up there, I've got that. And you'll notice some things in there that are kind of references to different parts of the game that the player kind of goes through or that really only the player would know but yeah let me know what you guys would think about some other games some other games you'd like to see I've thought about buying Shadow of War but at the same time I didn't play Shadow of Mordor so I don't know exactly what the gameplay is like on that or if it would require a lot of editing and stuff like that um, because I don't know how slow it can get or like if I can just record me playing a mission. But out here is kind of like a uh, a lounge area outside the general's quarters. I fixed this wall. So it's a pretty simple fix. I just put up some uh, junk, or well, wooden walls. But, um, yeah, let me know what video games you guys would like to see me play. Uh, kind of wanted to do Overwatch again. But I don't know about Overwatch. I haven't really played it in a while. And those videos were a lot to make and they didn't do very well. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think of this build and the like decoration and everything in here. Tell me if you guys caught some of the things. Like Obviously, uh, there's a lot of things in here that are pretty obvious. But um, yeah, 
Um, let me know what you guys think of this build. Let me know if there's anything else you would like to see here. I'm going to be probably doing something out on that balcony, uh, or well, out on that rooftop uh, outside of that wall that's fixed up next. And we'll see how that goes. And then um, I downloaded the solar panel mod that No Respawns just did a kind of like review slash build with a while back. I downloaded that, and I kind of want to use that. You'll see it at some point. Um, I've already placed stuff up there, just kind of messing around. But it's not like what I'm actually going to do. I'm not sure what I'll actually do. I'll probably mix that in with like generators and stuff like that. But, yeah, let me know what you guys think of this build. Let me know what you guys would like to see on this channel in the future. And thank you guys for watching. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.